Did you know that the type of grass you feed your cattle can make a big difference in their health, weight gain, and milk production? Choosing the right grass isn't just about what's available, it's about nutrition, digestibility, and adaptability to your climate. In this video, we'll break down the best grasses for cattle feed, categorized into warm season grasses. Ideal for tropical and summer regions, cool season grasses. Best for temperate and winter climates. Legume-based forages. High protein plants to boost nutrition, other forage options. Extra feeds that complement a grass-based diet. Stick around to find out which type of grass is best for your farm and how it can improve your herd's performance. Let's start with warm season grasses these grasses thrive in hot climates and are perfect for summer grazing and hay production. If you're in a tropical or semi-arid region, these grasses will give your cattle the nutrients they need to grow strong. Napier grass, elephant grass. This is a fast-growing, high-yield grass that's packed with protein. It's commonly used for cut-and-carry feeding, meaning farmers cut it and bring it to cattle instead of letting them graze. Guinea grass. If you need a fast-growing pasture grass, this is a great option. It's widely used in tropical pastures and provides good quality forage for both dairy and beef cattle. Buffalo grass. Living in a semi-arid or drought-prone area, this drought-resistant grass grows well in low rainfall regions and is great for grazing. Sudan grass and sorghum. Sudan grass hybrid. These grasses grow quickly, making them excellent for silage and rotational grazing. Plus, they help farmers maintain a consistent forage supply during the hot months. Bermuda grass, a tough and hardy grass that handles heavy grazing well. That's why it's popular in the southern US and many warm regions worldwide. Panicum species, these grasses work well in rotational grazing systems, meaning cattle can feed on one section while another section regrows. This keeps the pasture healthy and prevents overgrazing. Kikuyu grass, looking for high yield forage. This grass grows quickly and thrives in tropical and subtropical climates. Dallas grass, if your soil isn't the best, don't worry. Dallas grass can grow in poor soils and still provide good quality grazing. Pearl millet. This is another fast-growing, drought-resistant forage that works well in summer pastures. Sataria grass. If you're farming in a humid tropical region, this high-fiber grass is a great option for your herd. These warm-season grasses help farmers maximize pasture productivity even in hot and dry conditions. Up next, we'll look at cool season grasses, perfect for colder regions and winter feeding. These grasses thrive in mild to cold temperatures and provide highly digestible forage for cattle. If you're in a temperate region or need winter feeding options, these grasses are a great choice. Rye grass, annual and perennial. This protein-rich grass is one of the best for both pastures and silage. It grows quickly and keeps your cattle well fed. Timothy grass. If you need high fiber hay, Timothy grass is a top pick for dairy cattle. It's soft, easy to digest, and makes excellent winter feed. Tall fescue. This drought tolerant grass is great for grazing, but some types contain endophytes, which can reduce cattle performance. Choosing an endophyte free variety can solve this issue. Orchard grass. Highly digestible and ideal for pasture and hay, this grass is a favorite for farmers who want high quality cattle feed. Brome grass, smooth and meadow brome. These grasses provide nutrient rich forage and are excellent for both hay and grazing. Meadow fescue, compared to tall fescue, this grass is more digestible and works well in cooler regions. It's a good choice for farmers looking to improve cattle weight gain. Kentucky bluegrass. This common pasture grass is palatable and great for grazing, but it has lower yields compared to other grasses. 
Reed canary grass. Need a grass that can handle wet conditions? This moisture tolerant grass thrives in cool climates and provides high productivity. Crested wheat grass, a hardy drought resistant grass that works well for grazing in dry areas. Orchard bluegrass. This nutritious and palatable grass is a great addition to pastures where quality forage is a priority. Cool season grasses ensure your cattle get the nutrition they need, even during colder months. But what if you want to boost your pasture's protein content? That's where legume-based forages come in. Let's check them out next. These plants boost protein intake and improve soil fertility by fixing nitrogen, making them a great addition to pastures. Alfalfa. If you need a super nutritious forage, alfalfa is one of the best options. It's packed with protein and calcium, making it great for dairy cows and growing cattle. It can be used for hay, silage, or grazing, but watch out, it can sometimes cause bloating in cattle. Clover, white and red clover. These common pasture legumes improve the soil by adding natural nitrogen and providing high quality grazing. They work well in both cool and warm regions. Stylo. If you're in a tropical region, stylo is an excellent forage choice. It's highly digestible and helps maintain cattle health in hot climates. Dismodium. This nitrogen-fixing plant grows well in tropical pastures and provides a balanced diet when mixed with grasses. Leukina. This leguminous tree is a fantastic fodder source. It's high in protein and helps farmers reduce feed costs. However, cattle should eat it in moderation to avoid toxicity. Sun hemp, another great nitrogen-fixing forage that's perfect for tropical cattle feed. It also helps improve soil quality for future planting. Betch, a great cool season legume often planted with grasses to enhance protein content in winter pastures. Bird's foot trefoil, this high protein legume is unique because it doesn't cause bloating like alfalfa, making it a safe alternative. Legume-based forages help cattle grow faster, produce more milk, and stay healthier, all while improving soil fertility. But what about other forage options? Let's explore some alternative feed sources that can supplement your cattle's diet. Corn silage. This is one of the most energy-rich forages for cattle. It's made by fermenting whole corn plants, creating a high calorie feed that's great for dairy and beef cattle, oat grass. This forage works well for both grazing and silage. It's a cool season crop that provides fiber and energy for cattle. Teff grass, a fast growing, soft textured grass that makes highly palatable hay. It's great for sensitive cattle that need easily digestible forage. Wheat grass. This hardy forage grows well in dry areas and is commonly used for grazing in rangelands. Barley grass, a winter forage option often used for silage or grazing. It provides good nutrition in colder months. Siberian wild rye, a cold resistant nutritious grass that's well suited for harsh climates. These alternative forages give farmers more options for keeping cattle healthy and productive, especially when grass pastures aren't enough. Now that you've seen all the different types of grasses and forages, you might be wondering which one is best for your farm. The answer depends on your climate, soil, and cattle's needs. If you live in a warm climate, go for warm season grasses like Napier grass, Guinea grass, or Bermuda grass. These thrive in hot temperatures and recover quickly from grazing. If you farm in a cooler region, choose cool season grasses like ryegrass, timothy, brome grass. These grow well in fall and spring, providing nutritious grazing options. Need a protein boost? Add legume-based forages like alfalfa, clover, or bird's foot trefoil. These improve cattle growth and milk production while enhancing soil fertility. Looking for a supplement? Consider corn silage, millet, or oat grass to keep cattle fed year-round, especially during droughts or winter months. But be careful, not all grasses are safe for cattle. 
Some forages contain toxins that can be harmful if eaten in large amounts. Tall fescue, Festuca arundinacea. This common cool season grass can be infected with endophytes, which produce toxins that cause heat stress, poor weight gain, and reduced milk production. Johnson grass, Sorghum halepens. While it's sometimes used as forage, it can contain prussic acid, which is toxic to cattle, especially after frost or drought. Sorghum Sudan grass hybrid. Though a great forage option, it can produce toxic prussic acid, especially after a drought or frost. Cattle should only graze it under proper management. The best forage plan includes a mix of safe grasses, legumes, and alternative feeds to keep your cattle healthy and productive throughout the year. By choosing the right forages and avoiding toxic plants, you can increase weight gain, boost milk production, and improve soil health, all while reducing feed costs. What types of forage do you use for your cattle? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more farming insights.